Coming up next, it's the UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. While drillers make killers and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman, she has become a force in this division. And even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Arguably the most dominant champion the women's game has ever seen. Enter former UFC women's bantamweight champion, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Just the biggest star in MMA up to Conor McGregor coming here, taking over. Ronda Rousey was just truly, truly something special. Ronda Rousey was just one of the biggest stars mixed martial arts has ever seen. From the debut in strike force with the quick arm bar to Jean LaBelle holding a stopwatch every time she fought. Yeah. She just had that star appeal and she had enough to share. She didn't need to use it all on herself. She could give something to me, she can give something to this guy, yeah. this guy, this guy, this guy, and there was enough. A massive fight star, a massive movie star, just a mainstream star is Ronda Rousey. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the Octagon of this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena, in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the USC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 101 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Bazooka! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the former UFC women's back and weight champion of the world. Ronda Rousey! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway.
And she caught the kick. So again, they will clinch here. Whoa! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Trying to stay in this fight! Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Well, she's already landed several big takedowns, and there's another one. So you gotta like what you're seeing here. This offensive wrestling is on point. It's unbelievable. The variety of takedowns is what I am truly a fan of. It's not just one thing. She is doing different approaches, different takedowns to really, really confuse her opponent. Liver kick. Well, you know she can punch with the best of them, but that has not been the weapon of choice tonight as she lands yet another combination of kicks. She's landing so many kicks back to back. I don't think I've ever seen this before in a fight. Straight punch lands. Oh, nice job by her there to split the guard and land her straight punch. That punch is so straight and so fast. She's having a difficult time picking up the timing of her opponent's strike. Rousey gets hit with a kick. Throws the right hand there. Just a slip there. Nice punch land over the top. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, she's got as good a tight. All right, so again, she shoots here, and once again, the takedown is there for her, you see. She really is very confident that she can secure every takedown she tries. And to this point, she has done exactly that. Oh, shaved by the bell, round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. And shout out to the Diaz brothers and everybody watching in the 209 because it looked like the Diaz sister there in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy. She took that same type of control. I will set a pace that you are not able to keep up with. I will put my hand on over and over again. I'm not going to hit you hard every time, but I'm going to keep touching you until eventually you're going to melt and burn. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Punch over the top. And she's back in the clinch. Oh, the difference in the strike is crazy. Oh, she landed a near perfect knee strike there. Again, she chooses to clinch here. Just missed with the left there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at how she drives her knee right into her opponent's midsection. Again. That is how you scramble, folks. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Oh, she blocked the punch. She's starting to put together some significant body work here. And these are a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landing. Now she's got to go chase her down. We'll get another one off to finish the fight. Well, Rousey's looking to lock up an arm bar here. And attack an arm bar. to the ground right there. So a nice job defensively to fend off the arm bar and then turn it into an offensive situation. High level mixed martial arts. All right, nice transition into full guard. If you're the top fighter, where do you go from here? Try to posture up, get some big ground and pound off, which will lead to you passing the half guard. Back to the feet now. 
I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC, finding the range with relative ease here. Too. She's doing a great job of finding everything. She is seeing everything out there. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. And she lands another punch there. And this was not a pre-existing cut that she came into the fight with. She caused it, and now she's targeting. She caused it, and that is her handiwork. Landing a great strike caused the cut, and now she has a target to try to increase the damage on her way to trying to get a victory. Nice knee to the body there. Oh, big punch land. Clinch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. All right, she is all smiles as she makes her way back to the stool. DC, a lot of good action there in the previous round, particularly that head kick knockdown. Talk us through. She's a really good striker. She does everything so technically on her feet. So you knew when you were watching her land so many strikes low, eventually she would go high, and she did, and got that big knockdown that really did determine this round. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. is this young woman. High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. She's got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and land some big knees from the close. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Ooh, what a punch. Clinch the guard, lands the right hand. Uh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, as a play-by-play -play guy, I try to stay out of the prediction business, but I think we're gonna see another takedown attempt here soon. Oh, absolutely. You see it playing itself out over and over again. She enters, she gets the takedown, and she will not stop at any cost to get the fight to the floor. She's been successful, so why would she change it? Ooh, big shot land. Real nice body kick land. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Rousey's shot is blocked. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both these fighters love fighting chest. Oh, there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. Still. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. So she holds on to her here. Oh, that's a nice scramble by her there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, how about that? Knee to the body, and it landed. It, it landed in the perfect spot. Great job. Good kick. Back in the clinch now. Big body kick land. All right, so once again, they put all the weight into it, and now this could be the beginning of the end for her home. It seems like we are in the final act of a four-part play, because this fight is about done. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, and I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. She's so confident in her defense and her ability to block shots, and, and now you see why. You see all she learned from her background in boxing that allows her to be so effective defensively. All right, so we will see another round here. Sat her opponent down there in that previous round with a punch. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, we are going forward because I thought it was over. I saw that punch land. We started to yell. We started to scream. We thought the fight was done but we move forward because her opponent is so tough, but she's so skilled that she can get there again.
Oh, she countered her there with the beautiful straight right hand. Oh, quick. Oh, she defended the takedown beautifully and scrambles back to her feet. Oh, huge knee to the body. That'll soften her up. Big oh. knee lands there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Side control for her now, and you know how heavy she stays with all of that upper body strength. We'll see what she can do from here. Well, she's got great upper body strength, and that's why she passes, because she doesn't necessarily feel she needs the legs to control her opponents on the ground. So she goes to side control and hopes that you give your back. That's right. why you see she has so many rear naked choke submissions. I would never give you much. Don't give me that. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transition. Oh, that's a nice job by her there to reverse the position on her. She was in trouble, now she is the one handing out the punishment. Great change of position very quickly. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count, doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Rousey's looking for an arm bar here. You gotta be careful, arm bar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. In full guard now, DC, and I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely, trying to get the half guard so I can start to get up ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. Half guard is not nearly as dangerous as full guard, so get the half, land some ground and pound, get posture, and then continue to dominate on the ground. Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. It is the fifth and final round. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing at a super high rate. She's in a great flow right now. Straight right hand, but she misses. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Ronda Rousey. Big knee there to the chest. And she misses with the left punch there. 
liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Fantastic takedown land. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. And that one was heavy. What you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh. Beautiful body kick. Oh! Huge right hand! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed. Oh! oh. She could have drawn it up much better. Just a beautiful strike to end the fight for her opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that flush shot coming. So this is exactly the way she drew it up. She told us during fight week that she had to find a way to finish this fight to send a message to the rest of this division. Message sent. Now we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 45 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by Nakazuka. Well, there she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV. It'll be on the news. It'll be available everywhere she turns for the next few weeks. And this is a massive moment for her.